this thing brother nashi it kept on happening over and over again and i was afraid to tell my husband because of his age there was a huge generation gap between there was a huge generation gap between me and my husband so there was stuff that i felt so much embarrassed to discuss with him like for instance there were times whereby i would have a dream and in my dreams i'll be having intercourse with a man that i didn't even know whom it was and when i would wake up in the morning the things that i would notice all over my private parts there were small pimples like but these pimples my brother nashi after i had finished bathing they would magically disappear so i was always embarrassed so much embarrassed that i was even embarrassed to change my clothes or to get naked when my husband was looking at me because he was way older than i was and the other thing that had caused all of this embarrassment at the time when i had gotten married to my husband i didn't know how to treat a man like in our cultural way there is a way that you are supposed to act up when your husband is having intercourse with you so my husband had been saying that i was not raised well like my aunties didn't get the chance to train me so this destroyed my self confidence because he kept on comparing me to his first wife and he said that his first wife was very experienced in bed and as for me whenever he was making love to me it was like i didn't even know how to touch him or how to behave this thing that kept on being said by my husband really destroyed my self confidence Even Even now brother nashi i still struggle when i am in a relationship with a man i struggle so much because when it comes to sexual intercourse i do not have any confidence at all so that woman who had that dream whereby a snake was coming out of my private parts then that snake transformed itself and it became a snake he said my child tomorrow morning i was thinking that you would go back to your husband but god has revealed to me that you are not supposed to go there until i have done some prayers for you so i stayed with that woman for two more days while she was performing some prayers for me and after she had performed those prayers for me i was surprised we were both surprised to see my husband coming to that woman's house we thought that he was there to fight with that woman who was taking care of me but he started apologizing and he said that he had realized all the mistakes that he had done and when he had gotten married to me it was out of love and he wanted to give me all the love that was out there in the world so after we had been prayed for by that prophet we then returned back to their compound but from the moment that we stepped our feet into the compound it was as if another evil spirit was then inserted into his body because he started beating me up he dragged me into our bedroom then he started beating me up while he had locked the door from there on that was when he started beating me up before this incident he had never laid his hands on me but the only thing that he could do was to insult me from that day i was now a regular victim of gender based violence my brother whenever you would be beating me up you would say that i am like a flower that can't even produce any seed and it was far much better to feed a chicken because he said that if you feed a chicken then a chicken will be able to lay some eggs and you can have something to eat but as for me he was not even sure as to why he was feeding me because i was not giving him anything back this man my brother he destroyed me a lot I kept on going back to that white garment prophet trying to get assistance because there were some herbs that she used to give to me so that I can drink she said that all of these herbs that she used to give to me to drink they were going to clean my system and after cleaning my system maybe i was going to fall pregnant but for many years there was no baby that was coming until she then directed me to this other man this man brother nashi he was the one who gave me 
three river stones. That man said that he was going to give me three river stones and those three river stones that he had been prayed upon, they were going to reveal all of the evil things that were being done to me. So I returned back home and when I returned back home, I placed those three river stones underneath my pillow and I went to bed. On that night, my husband was not to be with me because he was supposed to be with his first wife. And as I was sleeping, I felt a movement. And when I felt that movement, I swear, Brother Nashi, that I saw a snake that was coiled between my legs. I wanted to scream, but sleep paralysis had gotten hold of me. I could not move even my fingers. The only thing that I could move were my eyes. After that snake had coiled itself around my legs, then it started licking my private parts. After it had finished licking my private parts, that was when it uncoiled itself, then it got off the bed. When it had gotten off the bed, I saw it transforming and it became my father-in-law. Then he went to the door and he looked at me to see if I was still under the powers of sleep paralysis and he walked out of my bedroom. The next morning when I had woken up, that man who had given me those three river stones that he had been prayed upon, he said that I was supposed to throw them through the window. But when I was throwing these three stones through the window, I was not supposed to look at the place where I had thrown them. What I was supposed to do was that I had to stand with my back against the window while it was open. Then I had to throw those stones one by one and that was what I did. After I had done that, I then went outside. He had said that I should be the one to sweep the compound so as to make sure that no one was going to sweep those three stones away. So I started sweeping, making sure to avoid the place where my window was. After I had finished sweeping, that was when I heard my mother-in-law. She was crying a lot whilst she was in her bedroom. They then told us that now our father-in-law was suffering from a stroke. He could not move any limb of his body on his right side. He was rushed to the hospital. Two days later, he had passed away. After my father-in-law had passed away, that was when they went around visiting a lot of traditional healers. And when they went to visit a traditional healer, they were told that I was the one who had done a go back to send a prayer. That was when my husband started treating me very bad. So many times that I tried to go and report him, but it was just hopeless until I decided to run away. After I had ran away from my husband, I then found another man who said that he wanted to get married to me. That was the man that came with me to South Africa. But once we had landed in South Africa, the man forgot about all of his promises. He dumped me in such a cruel way, such that I had to stay in the street. When I was staying in the street, that was when I met another man. This man, he was from Zim. You know what this man from Zim did to me? for a plate of rice he said that he wanted to sleep with me and at that time I was really starving so when he found me it was late at night he asked me where I was going and I told him that I was from Zim even though I was lying to him I told him that I had gotten from the bus right now and I didn't know where to go he then said that he had a wife but his wife was working on night shift but he was willing to assist assist me if I was going to assist him. So he took me to his place and when I had gotten to his place, he gave me water to bath and after I had bathed, that was when he gave me a plate of rice to eat and after I had eaten, he said that he wanted to have intercourse with me. How could I had ever refused because I was really hungry. So after eating, we then slept together. He slept with me throughout the night for a plate of rice. When the morning came, he told me that I was supposed to get out of his house. This was somewhere around 3 a.m. 
because his wife used to work at this other bakery so his wife used to come early in the morning so around 3 a.m he told me that i had to leave his place at 3 a.m brother nashi not knowing where to go i kept on going around the location until the morning came that was when i started going around until i found this other woman who was saying that they were in need of a woman who could assist them at their crash that was when i started working at that crash as a cleaner where i ended up meeting my boss the one that i am currently working for brother nashi whenever i think about my story the thing that pains me the most is being childless whenever i look at my friends that i went to school with i see that they love posting their kids a lot and for this reason brother nashi on my whatsapp i have hidden a lot of my friends because i do not even want to see their statuses whenever i see someone posting their child on whatsapp on their statuses i feel so much pain in my heart and i start to feel very lonely dear listeners right there was a translation of a message that i received